Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Hatfield, Wisconsin, where the population in the winter is 50 and the summer is 500. We are in the center of the state of Wisconsin camping for the week with my family. Haley and Jared are here. Wave hi! And Molly. And then over here we have Steve and Little Miss Val. So, Stampin' Up! decided to roll out a new catalog during my week of vacation. Hmm. I couldn't leave you guys high and dry. So I decided to make a few cards for you. I just wanted to show you this beautiful new product. We also have celebrations starting um, August 3rd, so that's in full swing now. And I've got several videos to share with you using celebration and new holiday mini catalog stuff. So super excited through the magic of TV. We're going to step into my studio and do a little stamping for our week of camping and stamping. Hang tight. Well, isn't this fun? I am excited to be sharing some new ideas out of our new mini catalog and we can now show you the inside of these. We're not allowed to do that until the catalogs go live to the public. This one, August 3rd, is now a go. So I decided to start off with Halloween. I love Halloween. It is one of my favorite holidays, if you can call it a holiday. But I just really enjoy the costumes and I enjoy the spooky decorations. It's just been a lot of fun for me. We have some great fall ideas in this mini catalog. We start off with our Halloween on page 50 and 51. Now, if you don't have a copy of this, please let me know. I'd be happy to mail it to you. You definitely want a hard copy. It's so fun to look through here and I get a lot of inspiration from these projects. So this first one is called the Cute Halloween Suite. We've got some really neat um, embellishments and some gingham ribbon and then this adorable designer series paper, which I have right here. And we're gonna be using just a little bit of this today. We also have the Frightfully Cute Halloween set with some dyes that are really neat, the Clever Cats, and this is the set that I'm going to be using today. We've brought back the black glitter paper just in time for your spooky creations. And then we also have this set that has some apples, some Christmas, and some Halloween hats, which is kind of fun too. Okay. I decided to use the Clever Cats and I just thought the stamp set was funny and the cats are funny. They look a little scraggly like something the cat dragged in, right? <laughs> Some really cute images in here. And then I brought in the Well Defined. So we'll be working with that also. I've got the Cute Stars Adhesive Back Sequins. These are amazing. I've used a whole sheet of these already for swap cards that I made. And then here is this adorable, and I mean adorable paper. There's just some really neat patterns, some really cute images, fabulous colors for Halloween. Here is my card base. We're going to start off with pumpkin pie, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. Now remember, at the end of the video, I'm going to have a link that will take you right to my blog post for this particular card. You can go there and see still photos. You're also going to be able to see all the dimensions in one place. If you'd like to recreate this card, you can cut from those dimensions easily. There's also going to be a shopping list where you can click on the items that I'm showing you, like the stamp set or the stars. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. We've got a piece of basic black here. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. I've got a piece of basic white that's three and five eighths. Nope, I am wrong. Let's start over. <laughs> three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Sorry about that. The basic white is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we have some tiny, tiny little elements. 
I've got a teeny weeny little piece of basic white. This is 3 8 of an inch by 1 and 3 quarters. A little tiny piece of basic black that is 5 8 by 1 and a half. And then basic white and the designer series paper that are 2 by 2. And this card is a great way to use up little scraps. You guys know that, well, you can see right here, I've been making swap cards. I've been making you know, new cards for ideas to share with you. You've got all these little scraps. Let's use them. Okay, pumpkin pie. I think the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. And I just thought it'd be fun to use this Halloween definition. It tells us it's a noun. It tells us how to pronounce it. And it says, when taking candy from strangers is good and dressing normally is strange. And I just thought that's really cute. I've got stays on ink here. And I think I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> Get that started off just right, right? And I am just going to stamp this on the inside of my card. And that's just going to be a cute little saying. Now, we've also got this brand new time-worn embossing folder. Oh, let's get that stays on closed up. You don't want to leave this ink open. It'll dry up on you. We're going to take that smaller piece of this, um, basic white, and we're going to emboss it in this 3D time-worn embossing folder. And I just thought this went along with the Halloween because it's a little spooky and kind of shabby chic. I'm going to put this through my... Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, I'll be right back. And here comes that paper. Isn't this neat? Yeah, I just it's a very interesting look. Okay, we're gonna take that and we're gonna add it right to our black layer. I'm using my standard liquid glue. You'll find this in my online store, I love it. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room and it's not expensive. I think it's only $4. It lasts forever. Okay, we can take this and put it right on the front of our card. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Here we go. Okay, where's my ribbon? Right here. We're going to be using this metallic mesh ribbon. And I'm just going to take a piece that is a little bit longer than my layer, snip that off. Now I gotta be careful because I put the glue on already. And I'm going to just run that right down. I'm kind of, I, you could lay it out like this, but I'm gonna kind of push it together. And I'm just going to put it onto my cardstock, trying to keep my fingers out of the glue. <laughs> I think I did okay so far. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh, nope. I just stuck my I just stuck my finger in the glue. Of course I did. Okay, now we're going to Good Lord. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment when you're stamping, right? Especially with me. Okay, now we're gonna put this right on the front of our card. I love the big border of the pumpkin pie. I just think that's kind of a neat look. And the black makes the white really pop. Okay, here comes some stamping. We're gonna take this little two by two white square and also this tiny little 3 8 inch piece and do our stamping. I've got pumpkin pie ink here and my sentiment that says it's Halloween. I'm gonna stand up and see if I can get this straight on here. Ooh, I did really good. And we're gonna leave that open. This piece is ready to roll. Now we're gonna take this one and we are going to stamp our pumpkin outline here, our jack-o'-lantern. And again, I'm using Black Stays on ink. I'm gonna stamp that guy right down here at the bottom. Ooh, that looks really good. And then I'm gonna come in with this hat. Oh, that turned out great. Now let's see if I can keep up my roll here, right? 
we need, oh, hang on, I forgot to get out. We need this element to stamp in our little pumpkin. This is a two-step stamping process, which makes it really easy. And I'm gonna clean my stamp off here because I don't have a block out for this. There we go. Okay, now this is not meant to line up perfectly. So just know that. Oh my gosh, look at my little pumpkin. Isn't he cute? Absolutely adorable. Oh, you know what? <laughs> look what I did. I have this upside down. That's, I'm like, how did that get bigger? It's not supposed to be bigger. Let's try that again. Hang tight. We're gonna, we're gonna do over. Stamping and camping is hard. I wouldn't wanna disappoint you with perfection. <laughs> You know that's not my style. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Oh, I stamped everything so good too, you guys. Oh, now that one's not as dark. Let's try it again. The struggle is real. Okay, that looks better. Here comes the hat. Let's see if I can get that on there. As perfect as I did before. Oh my gosh, I did. Whew. Now hang tight, because here comes, we've got our stamp mounted the right way. I had it upside down. Have you ever done that? It's kind of funny. Here comes our little pumpkin. Body, yes, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Write marker, and I'm just gonna do a little flicking on this layer because I thought it would look neat. Can you see that? Just tones it down a little bit. And then I have my Mango Melody Dark marker. And I just thought this would look kind of neat for the buckle on the hat. Okay, we are ready to assemble our super quick and easy little Halloween card. I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. I've got my white and my black here. I don't know which I'm going to use or what's going to fit better. But here comes our little elements. So this is going to be offset just a little bit onto our striped paper. And remember I said we're just using scraps. So this is a great way to use up your scraps of your designer paper. And I'm just going to do this. Just offset that a little bit. Then we're gonna take this tiny little sentiment and we're gonna put it right over top of this black layer. Now I'm gonna hold this up to see. I wanna get it centered good. There we go, that looks pretty good. Here's where our dimensionals are gonna come in. I've got black ones here and since I'm using black cardstock, that'll work great, right? the other one get this ready to roll and then we can also put some dimensionals on the back of this one and I've got my oops got my take your pick tool here I like that you can really see when these backs are off of the black ones right Okay, make sure our card is right side up. How many times have I done that? <laughs> Here comes our little pumpkin and our little happy, or it's Halloween. And now we're going to add some of these fabulous self-adhesive stars. And I think I'm going to grab the orange ones here. Grab a little one and put it right there and a big one and we'll put that right here and how about another little one and drop that right over there oh my gosh 
What do you guys think? Is that not the cutest? Easy, super easy. I love all these elements together. This metallic mesh is in the annual catalog. So that's cool, right? Yay. All right, you guys, I hope you will come back and join me tomorrow where we're going to do some more stamping and camping for another great card out of the holiday mini catalog. Don't forget, celebration started August 3rd. So for every $50 you order out of either one of our catalogs, the annual catalog or the holiday catalog, you get to choose a free item out of this mini catalog. It can be a stamp set. It can be designer paper. It can be dies. We've got $50 items and also $100 items that you can get free. So when your order reaches $100, you can get this set of dies. When your order reaches $100, you can get this big stamp set. And when your order reaches $300 or your party, you can get this in your words free stamp set. So celebration lasts until the end of September. It is the most wonderful time of the year. I'm so excited. Now don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. And if you place an order with me and it's under $150, this is my current host code. Use that. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up and I definitely want you to have those. Right up here, you can click on that link. It's going to take you right to my blog post where you can see the dimensions, the shopping list, all the details for this particular card, as well as links to the online catalogs and the celebration brochure. And don't forget, celebration is the best time to join my team. Come be a discount shopper with me. On page 19 in this little brochure, let me see if I can find 19. Oh, counting is hard. Math is hard, right? Right down here on the bottom of page 19, you get to add any one of these 12 bundles to your kit. It's only $99. The value on it is worth at least $175. Completely customizable. You get to pick whatever you want and you get a 20% discount on everything you order after you buy the kit. Let me know if you have any questions about that. I'd love to have you on my team. Most of my team are discount shoppers. And let me tell you, we have a blast. Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I am going to get back to my camping. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.